What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to zoom in or out slowly in Vegas Pro 15. Now this is something people struggle with, especially if their clip is short, they want to zoom in but they want it to look slow. It's actually really simple, I'm going to be showing you two variations. So first of all, the video I have in Vegas right now is only 4 seconds and as you'll see it is an aerial shot of New York. So let's say we want this clip to be zooming into, let's say, the center the entire time. So coming to the pan and crop, what I do recommend you do is have sync cursor checks. And if you're going to go directly into the center to make things a lot more accurate, have size about center highlighted along with lock aspect ratio. From there, you come across on your timeline to where you want it to be zoomed in. So mine's towards the very end. So from here, simply drag from a corner until you see some arrows and just drag it in. Now, of course, there's something to note. The more you go in, the less quality your video is going to have. So it's completely up to you how far or how close you zoom in. Just for this example, I'm going to be zooming in quite a lot, even though the video looks distort. The reason is, is because I'm going to be showing you how to make it look slow. So right now, if I play this through, You can see that's how it looks. And then to make it look slower on this second frame that we zoomed in on, right click it and select slow. And this changes the dynamics of the motion zooming in. So you can see now it does look a lot smoother and slow, just like that. Now for zooming out, staying in the pan and crop, we're going to first of all start off with the first keyframe on position zoomed in. So once again, I'm going to zoom into the middle. And then this time, I'm going to come across the two seconds. That way, it gives us a one second gap where the video is going to be in a normal view. So from here, all I'm going to do is right click and select restore. And this puts the video back to normal. And once again, I'm going to right click this keyframe and I'm going to select slow. Now, if we play this from the start, this is a two second keyframe gap. So playing it through, you can see it's really smooth and it's not super, super quick. It's more slow and smooth, just like that. So let's say for whatever reason your pan and crop is messing up, the alternative to be creating this effect will be the track motion. Now you can see mine is right here. You may not be able to see yours. If that is the case, select these three lines, come to edit visible button set, make sure you have track motion checked and select OK and it will appear here. So just open it up and you'll see it literally looks exactly like the pan and crop. So once again, have a sync cursor checked and come across on your timeline to anywhere you want to zoom in. Now, something to point out about this, we're using the track motion, the name track, which means anything we do right here is going to affect the entire track. So if you have anything else after it, I recommend putting it on a separate track. Likewise, if anything is before it. So all I'm going to be doing, once again, I'm going to zoom straight into the center. So I'm going to have lock aspect ratio highlighted along with scale about center. Now the difference, you can't zoom in. So what you actually do is get from a corner and pull it out. And this creates the zoom effect. Now, yes, the quality has gone really bad. That's only because I've turned down the preview quality to preview and auto. Now, uh, this keyframe, once again, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to select slow. So if I play this through, that's how it is going to look. Now, a good thing about track motion is we don't have to have the keyframe stuck with the video, meaning we can go beyond this video. And with that, this keyframe we have, we can drag this off as far as we want to. Now what this will do is make your slow or your zoom really slow and looks really clean. So the way I recommend going about this, come to the end of your video and go back one keyframe by pressing the left arrow on your keyboard so you can see your video. Then drag this keyframe out. Now you can see as I'm dragging it out, the video is going to be zooming in or zooming out. So the further you go, um, this is how your video will end while it is on screen because of course it cuts off right there. You pick, um, let's say we want it to just zoom into that specific part here. And then once again, make sure it is on slow. You can see it says type slow. And if I play this through now, 
you can see it's a lot more slower and it's a lot more clean. So you can be pretty creative with that and once again I do recommend putting this on a separate video track. Now the same applies for zooming out. So first of all I will zoom in and then let's come across to maybe 315 right click and restore box. This puts everything back to normal. We're going to change this keyframe from linear to slow. And then if I play this from the start, you can see it's really nice and slow like that. And another thing you can do once again, come to the end of your clip, go back one keyframe so you can see your clip and simply drag this keyframe off somewhere else, completely optional where you want it to be. So I'll keep it here. And now if I play this through, you can see it's going to be really slow zooming out. And once again, I've now brought the keyframe to the end of the clip. If I play it through from zooming in to zooming out, it's really slow and it looks really nice. Of course, to make this look even better, if you do have a video which is at least 60 frames per second recorded and above, make your video slow motion. And then, if I should show you now, I will zoom out. Oh, I'll do that. And then bring this out. You can see our clip is now 7 seconds. Now it may not look the best because my clip is only a, I think it's 30 frames per second. And if I play this through, you can see it does actually fit really nice. It's a lot more slower, just like that. But that's how simple it is to zoom in and out slowly in Vegas Pro 15.